Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're on another episode of Broken Sword 5. If you missed the last episode, we, um, we were investigating the Vera security when George found the gun just as the police were coming in. <laughs> so I'm assuming George has been locked up now and we are playing as Nico. Uh, for them who are new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, this is a series being played alongside another series. Um, you will see that in the end screen. Go check that series out. Pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, let's carry on. This whole guy's just paid us a visit, so let's see what he's got to say. Would you like a glass of wine? Yeah, those stairs are a nightmare. Hmm, that's better. Good. So, what can I do for you, monsieur? But you are, monsieur. My name is Tiago Marquez. I saw your report on the robbery. I found your address. I came straight away. I needed to see you. And why is that? The stolen painting, La Malediction. It belongs to me. Right. Well, he had wanted me to interview the owner, and now here he was. Oh, okay. Or rather, he was somebody who claimed to be the owner. Yeah, that's true. Very true. Uh, so, about the painting, let's so ask So the you. stolen painting is yours. Tell me more. La Maledicio belonged to my family in Catalonia in the 30s before the Civil War. So what was it doing here in Paris? The fascists stole it in 1938. They killed my father, but not me. I escaped. Oh, I have seen that little boy then. Ever since. You have to help me find it. I wonder if he was that little boy at the beginning. Uh, you jumped to the back of the car, wasn't he? Right, okay, so we'll ask about him. Tell me about yourself. I am Tiago Marquez, the rightful owner of La Maledicción. What else is there to tell? You hmm. travelled all the way from Catalonia? No, since the war I've lived in France, in the southwest, and now I want the painting back. Hmm. Did you lose all your family in the Civil War? When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother. But my father was not so lucky. I'm sorry. I would have stayed and fought for freedom. But I was just a boy. Hmm. You've got my attention. But if I'm to help you, I need more to go on. I have something. This old photograph, it is of me and my family. See the painting above the fireplace? Yes, it's La Maledicción. The ah. photograph certainly appeared to link the old man to the painting. Yes, so he was the young lad. You took the photographs at that robbery, huh? I did, yes. I need to see them. Why? Please, I must see them. All right. Here they are. Hmm. Thief. And George Henry, Henry and the thief. This one was rejected. George got in the way. Typical. <laughs> Who is this George? Just a friend. He insured the painting. So, he will know who is this liar who claims to own my painting. I don't think he does. He would have told me. Okay, so... This is the best shot I took. They used it in the paper. Yes, it is how I recognize La Maledicción, my painting. It does look like the one in your photograph. Mm. So close, but now it is lost again. 
That's a tattoo on the back of his arm. Look. Here's the thief making off with that painting. What is that tattoo on his arm? Looks like a skull and crossbones. Headhunters, hmm? You will find him, and then you will find my painting. I can try, monsieur. You must, mademoiselle. Mademoiselle. Right, this one. Mm, this shot didn't come out too well. It's perfect. Perfect? Finally, la malediction in all its splendor. The lines, the color, the detail. It's been so long since I've seen it. Then take it. That shot is no good to me. Really? Thank you, mademoiselle. Hmm. Okay. Marquez's story was very interesting, but I needed to corroborate it. I wondered if the gallery kept ownership records. That's and while I didn't point. wholly trust him, this was the one lead that I didn't want to lose. Where are you staying? What? Nowhere. Here, perhaps. <laughs> I didn't want him to stay in my apartment. There was another solution. Yeah, kick him out. <laughs> my neighbor is out of town for a few days. You could stay there. Yeah, that would be good. Thank you. Great. Let's go. Adam said that he would leave the spare key under the mat. Okay, we'll look under the mat. My neighbor had left a key for me under the doormat. There we go. Which reminded me I hadn't watered his plants for a week. <laughs> the key wasn't there. Oh, here we go. Floor crack. Ah. The gap was wide, but not wide enough for my fingers. Uh, 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 card, chewing gum. <laughs> oh, she's using it. Using the sticky chewing gum, I was able to fish out the key. Oh, there we go. That was pure luck. Didn't expect that. All right, so we'll go the in the door. Was locked. Yeah, we'll use the key then. Come on, Nico, help me out. Go on, old man. Make sure you don't trip over the rug. Rock is about keel over. Somebody. This will do. Glad it's up to standard. I have to go out, monsieur. Ronnie had promised me the front page if I got an interview with the painting's owner. And here was a crazy Spaniard claiming to be just that. Hmm. I needed to find out who had put the painting up for sale. Maybe there was more to find at the gallery. Right. Back to the gallery we go. Len was sitting outside the cafe. He looked dazed. Lane! Hello, Monsieur Len. Monsieur? Ah, the delectable Nicole Collard, super sleuth. How may I be of service? I was hoping I'd find you here. Always available for a lovely lady such as yourself. Henri's death, it must be so very hard for you. Yes, I shall miss him deeply. We had such a very special relationship. The loss is so hard to endure, even for a man of such inner strength as myself. The La Maledictio owner. What do you know about the owner of La Maledictio? That was Henri's business. He found the painting and did the deal with the owner. Would anybody else know anything about the owner? Not likely. He kept especially quiet about that one. But he always kept a manifest for every exhibition. Okay. I'm writing a follow-up piece on the gallery theft. Ah, so you need an inside view. Authoritative. Something like that. The police have finished in the gallery. We could chat in the office. It's much more comfortable. More intimate. Beg your pardon? I might even be able to rustle up a little bottle of champagne. Always a ladies' man, it's here. I have some things to do first. You Maybe sleazy. 
Uh, manifest. You mentioned a manifest. How would one get a look at that? One might start in the office. That's where Henri kept most of his paperwork. About the gallery. Of course, my dear. We can go there now, if you would like. Yeah, go That on. sounds great. Let's go. We can discuss my ordeal over a glass of champagne. A cozy chat with Lane was the last thing I wanted. <laughs> but it was my best hope if I wanted to get a look around the office. That is so, very true. So, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Calm down, Gil. What's he laughing at? Did you see him then? Laughing at me? After you, my dear. The place was heaving with junk. Finding what I wanted wouldn't be easy. As Lane sat down, something stuck out from beneath the cushion. It looked like a folder. Whatever it ah. was, the police had missed it. I needed to get it. I saw Come that for when George was in here. Couch. I'm ready for you. A beg your pardon? You will be gentle with me, won't you? <laughs> oh, I'm never gentle, Monsieur Lane. Oh. Oh. Do call me Hector. <laughs> Is a sleazy what suit. Um yeah, there's a naked woman again. I've covered that up. Uh, sofa, sit down. Make sure you sit down next to him, Noroni. That's it. I don't want to get caught in this part out. Lane hadn't noticed the folder. With that amount of padding, who would? The only way to get hold of it was to distract him. <laughs> Um, uh, how would you distract him? He's breathing quite Monsieur heavy. What's up with him? Excited. Hector, please. Uh, statue of Henry. Let's ask the maledictio. Oh, so no. you really don't know who owns the sap? I'm sorry, my dear. I really don't. Okay. Statue I of Henry. I Henry had a statue of himself. Yes. For a man of high aspiration, he had alarmingly low taste. Nevertheless, I shall miss him. We were like family. What will happen to this place now? Henri's widow will decide, poor soul. She may find it in her heart to keep me around. Oh, I'm sure she will. Okay. Is there anything you can tell me about the painting? It was an absolute treat to come across it. A true, undiscovered gem. There is no denying it is a fantastic painting. What can you tell me about the religious significance? Of course, there is a deep religious symbolism locked within the painting, too. Central to this must be the Pantheon of Saints. Okay, right, get me a glass of champagne. Oh, Hector. Perhaps I will join you in that glass of champagne. But of course, champagne. champagne. Nature's balm in troubled times. Go on then. Oh. We needed him get up. Uh, can we drink? Or can we knock it over? Or could we spill it on him? Can we spill it on him? Uh, champagne. To new friends. To love. <laughs> yes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, but Joe, that is so cold. Oops, silly me. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'll have to dry this off. Don't you worry, my dear. Mr. B moments in front of the Andre. 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 In the folder was a list of all the paintings in the exhibition. La Maledictio had to be there. It it's, was. It's still there. And next to it it's was the there. owner's I can name, see. Mr. Madovsky. 
Mr. The police Medowski. had obviously not spotted the folder. I put it back. I had what I needed for my story. Monsieur Lane, thanks for everything. But I think I hear my editor calling. Ma chérie, no need to leave so soon. It, it, it's only a little spillage. And I found out who claims to own La Maledexio. Some guy named Madovsky. Sounds Russian, right? Madovsky, my god. Who is he? He's new on the oligarch block. Fresh into London from Russia, with ambition and a bloody reputation. Call Art, this is way over your head. I'm gonna put a more experienced crime journalist on the story. I can't afford for you to get hurt. Relax, Ronnie. This is my story. Leave it with me. Let's discuss it over lunch tomorrow. Okay. But don't do anything more. Mmm. More? Me? Ronnie didn't Never. trust me on this story, but I wasn't going to let him give it to someone else. I was going to have to move fast. Come in. That's George. Hi, George. I Great thought you got arrested. You. Hope you don't mind me just dropping in. No, not at all. How are you getting on? Pretty good. I found the gun that was used in the robbery. I'm impressed. Yeah? Well, Nave wasn't. He accused me of trying to plant it, and then of being involved in Henri's death. <laughs> then he threw me into a cell. He couldn't make a stick, of course, so he had to let me go this morning. But he's convinced I'm involved. So if I put a foot wrong, he'll nail me next time. <laughs> but, hey, on the bright side, have I got a story for you. A long story later. Annette, the manager at Vera Security, lied about the owner of the company. When I pieced together that shredded letter, I got a name. Medovsky. Medovsky. That's the same guy who claims to own La Maledixio. What? He owns the painting and Vera Security? He has to be the one behind this whole scam. Mm. You're telling me. Insurance job. We have to be sure. What the? <laughs> Zombies just walked through the door. <laughs> I cannot sleep on that bed. It is too soft. Josh, this is Senor Marquez. Uh, nice to meet you. Hmm. So you are this George, huh? Senor Marquez is staying in the apartment across the hall. Apparently, he's the real owner of La Maledixio. What? I thought you said Madovsky was the owner. Senor Marquez claims the painting was stolen from his family during the Spanish Civil War. Really? Do you have any proof? Senor Marquez, could you show him the photograph? There we go. So, who uh, was this? My father. When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother. But my father was not so lucky. Who's this? How can we prove this is you as a child? The dates would tie up, Charles. Who's this? My mother, a good woman, a saint. It's Catherine Zeta Jones, that is. Uh, La That's definitely La Maledixio hanging on the wall. It belonged to my family, so it belongs to me. If the painting really was stolen during the 1930s, then this Madovsky guy has no legitimate claim to it. But how can I be sure that you're the boy in that picture? I can prove it. Look at my father in the photograph. You see the medallion he's wearing? He gave it to me just before he died. This medallion has been mm. in our family for hundreds of years. Ah. It's definitely the same medallion. A snake eating its own tail. That's also on the painting. It is the Ouroboros. The what? The Ouroboros. It is a sign of my people, my family, my faith. The Gnostics. My father was a Gnostic leader. La Maledixio is sacred to the Gnostics, 
Hence they both display the Ouroboros. A priest I met said the painting was the devil's work, a thing of evil. Mm. <laughs> he would say that. Do not believe all you hear from the church. Whatever you think, the painting is mine. If Marquez was the true owner of Maledixio, then Madovsky had no legal claim to it. Might be tough to prove, but if I could, we wouldn't have to pay out on the insurance. So if the painting belongs to you, how did Madovsky get it? The fascists stole it. It went to Madrid, then Berlin, then after the war to Moscow. After that it was lost, until now. We need to talk to this Madovsky, but how do we find him? Russia. Russia, Ronnie. Russian. Hey, Nico? Yes, Josh? Have you not been listening to me? <laughs> what do we know about this Madovsky character? Ronnie said he was dangerous and very rich. He claims to be the owner of La Maledixio. And appears to be the boss of Vera's security who were supposed to protect it. Now that kind of figures. The best way to steal something is to get hired to look after it. Mm -hmm. But why steal a painting you already own? We need to talk to this guy. And shoot his job. To do that, we need to find him. So let's go over what we know about the thief. Okay, well, he had a distinctive tattoo on one arm. And his helmet had Waterloo motors across it. Not a lot to go on. Why would somebody steal their own painting? Insurance scam? But then why yes. kill Henri? I get the impression that Henri was somehow involved. Mm-hmm. And he was accidentally killed. I found the gun that Henri was shot with at Vera Security. If Madoski owns Vera Security, it means that he must know the killer. Well, it can't be Annette, but she has to be involved in some way. All right, so it's all coming together now. You said the thief had a tattoo. On his arm, it was a skull and crossbones with headhunters written around it. We need to track down Waterloo Motors. Have you tried the internet? I've been kind of busy. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Waterloo Station, Battle of Waterloo, Waterloo Kebabs, <laughs> Waterloo Sunset. Ah, here we go. Waterloo Motors. It's a garage in London. I'll send the number to your phone. Well, we're going to London. Uh, phone. Here we go. Let's just give him a ring. Hi. How can I help you? My name is George Stobart. I'm investigating a murder that was committed here in Paris. What's that going to do with us? <laughs> That's a typical garage talk in the UK. <laughs> well, what's it going to do with us? The guy we're looking for was wearing a helmet with Waterloo Motors on it. Oh, yeah. It's a very popular helmet. I don't suppose you know who might have bought one? Well, not unless you've got any more information, mate. <laughs> Sorry, mate. The killer had a tattoo on his arm. It said, Headhunters. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, he, uh, he bought one of our helmets just the other day. Terrific. Do you know his name? No. no. He brings his boss's Merc here to have his service. Words to the wise, though. Well, here, he don't mess about. The car's registered on Dutchy Street, if it's any help. I mean, that's all I know, mate. Sorry. No, that's more than enough. You've been a great help. Thanks for your time. See ya. Hmm. Bingo. Good work. That has to be the guy. And now we've got his address. How about a trip to London? I thought you'd never ask. Senor Marquez, will you be okay here? The bed is uncomfortable. <laughs> but it will do. Come back quickly. With the painting, eh? Off to London we go!